Good morning! Welcome to 2020 on my vlog channel. So today I am filming. I need to film as much as I possibly can because if you... I just spilt water everywhere. If you didn't see one of my most recent vlogs, we have to move out, which means I have a lot of packing to do. Uh, in with that mix, trying to find and view apartments and flats and houses because we actually don't have a clue where we're moving to and in the meantime edit and upload and I'm trying to do a new fitness thing and uh, I wanted to vlog more so I've got a lot going on um, but first things first coffee okay I'm gonna try and keep this brief probably won't be because I talk for England but I want to try and keep it as brief as I can little update on the moving situation we have no idea what's going on um, we got the price for our build back over Christmas, just before Christmas. It was just, it was just the tip of the, it was just the cherry on top of our 2019 really, with the whole build thing, with it just going downhill slowly. Um, it's out of our price range by £20,000. So, my voice is cracking. Amazing end to 2019. Did mean that 2020 started with a fresh clean slate and hopefully the only way from here is up. We can only hope. So currently with the whole build thing, we can't actually afford it. The whole thing has gone to shambles. Um, the whole last, what, year of our lives designing and planning and choosing this build has just been a waste of time. We honestly don't know what to do as our next step. We don't want to rush into anything, but we also don't want to sign a lease on a flat or a house to rent for a year and then find somewhere that we want to buy. But we also don't want to move home because that would make working for me very, very difficult. And then we're at home and we don't know how long we're at home for. And everything is very undecided at this point. All we know is we have to move out. So we are in the packing process. And this is the positive. We're packing up and I'm getting rid of all of the things that I've hoarded over the last three years. Uh, Nick's home and we're planning to go to the gym in about five minutes, which I'm not looking forward to. I'm not telling anyone anything. <laughs> <laughs> Nick went, okay, Nick's quite helpful when it comes to thumbnails, but he just went, I've got a boss idea for a thumbnail. Are you putting this out? <laughs> You can go down the park and find someone with a dog. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds stupid when you're saying it back, doesn't it? Now it sounds stupid. It sounds stupid. I think it's great. <laughs> right. <laughs> so for my wish video, I have a, a dog backpack. And Nick said, a really good thumbnail. <laughs> 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 If you go down the park and find someone with a dog. <laughs> Hang around someone who's got a dog. And then take a photo of them with their dog. And then you walk past with the backpack on and then draw a dotted line from the dog to the backpack. And I went, I don't really understand. And it went, so it's like the dog saw the backpack. And I was like, right. And he went, well, it doesn't make sense without a title. And he went, <laughs> and I went, okay, what's the title? And he goes, who knows what happened? <laughs> That wasn't me title, that was just the idea of the video. Or the vi thumbnail. <laughs> what, who knows what happened? Yeah, what, a dog saw a backpack? dog tries to meet you. Don't be weird. Just pop on the back of you. No! <laughs> Nick, Jim. I don't want it. Give me two minutes to do my hair. Are you ready? No. Why aren't you getting ready then? I'm not ready. You are coming. We can go in my car if you want and you can listen to the engine. Bang! <gasps> Nicholas! <laughs> That's gonna look embarrassing and horrible. <laughs> Dunno. That'll work. Right. It's really cold. Go, go, go. Also, my legs are still killing from when I went on the 1st of January and I did a nice run and found out Jasmine doesn't run. I'm dealing with the typical tangle. <laughs> yeah. This is the worst part of the day, working out what you want for dinner. I just, I hate it. <laughs> I hate working out what I want for dinner. Ooh, yeah, that. chicken munchies. These look tasty. We are back from shopping and the gym. I've gone for garlic bread, lamb chops, and then I'm gonna go ahead and stir fry myself some veggies, which I'm really excited about, um, which is weird, I know, but I love vegetables, and one of them that I love is a sprout. So I bought eight sprouts. Yes, I counted because I'm odd. Um, I bought eight sprouts so that I can have two to four of them raw and then the other ones in my stir fry and I'm gonna have 
pak choy, sprouts, green beans, tender stem broccoli, and there was something else. Do I eat first or shower first? Shower. Okay. I'm showered. Do you like my lovely fanciful adult um, uh, nightwear? <laughs> I really feel like most like girls wear cute jammies. Oh, and there's me. Not. This is cute for a 12 year old. Sure. <laughs> Look at it. Um, yeah. So I'm now showered. I haven't done my makeup yet or my hair, but I'm showered, nice and clean. Raw sprouts. Things that smell of me. You're gonna smell my sprout? Yeah. Right, it's right. <laughs> well, I think it's the hat. I disagree. See you in the morning. I'm gonna bring all of it into here and we're gonna sort through it together. Turns out, I have a lot more than I thought and I don't really know where to start. I think I'm going to start with the dresses. I want to try this on. I know I want this for sure. I've worn this on many occasions. I think I'm going to get rid of this, but am I? See, this is my issue. I've owned this dress for probably a year or two and I've never worn it, which to me says, get rid of it, you won't wear it, but it fits. It's nice. I've spent the money on it and I don't want to waste it. It's cute and I would like to wear it out somewhere. But is it a day dress? Is it an event dress? And I honestly don't know. I'm really bad with clothes. Like really, really bad. Oh God, this video is gonna take hours to film, isn't it? Why have I done this to myself? Now imagine this, but with jeans and not bicycle shorts. Quite like this top. It's another yes. It's a little play suit and I freaking love the pattern on it. Do I think it flatters me? Not, it's not the most flattering on me. I won't lie to you, I don't really suit off the shoulder that much. But it's so nice. But am I gonna wear it? I don't know. Yes to this dress, I love this dress, it's cute. <laughs> I found an item that I might get rid of. Um, this is from Primark, it's a little dungaree pinafore type number. I'm gonna have to keep it, I'm gonna have to keep it. This is just ridiculous at this point. I haven't chosen to throw anything away yet. This dress has been worn way too many times. It's from New Look, probably like five years ago. This is one of my go-to dresses. I love this. I'm obviously keeping it. I found a dress I'm happy to part ways with. It doesn't flatter me that much. I know that when I'm in it, I don't feel fully confident. So I'm gonna let this dress go. We're gonna donate it. I'm gonna donate both of these two for very different reasons. This one I have, <laughs> I love the colours of it, I like the fit of it. It's just got pretty little thing written all over it and at the time it didn't bother me but then whenever I've thought about actually wearing it, it's really bothered me that it's got pretty little thing written all over it. I love pretty little thing, don't get me wrong, but just, I'm not too sure about that. I'm gonna donate this dress as well. I have actually worn this a few times and it is adorable, but when I'm holding it up and looking at it, it doesn't give me that like, feeling of oh I want to wear you it's kind of more of a hmm I think I'm over that now keeping this is my summer in the city dress um I wore this when I met a lot of you at summer in the city and I adore this dress so this is more sentimental than anything um I don't know if I'll wear this one again but I do feel like it like holds a place in my heart I do love this dress so yes we'll be keeping this one is a struggle for me because I love it so much, but I just haven't really worn it. I think I'm gonna put it in storage. I think it's about time I get rid of this. This I bought for a video um, that I never ended up filming where I was gonna dress as Kylie Jenner for a week. Um, didn't film it, but it was too late for returns, so I kept it. And it is a really, really, really beautiful dress, but it's not really my style. I think this is another one that I'll come back to during editing. I think for now, I'm gonna put it in the donate pile, but it's really nice. Just while we're here, this jumper, I just keep looking at and it's not making me happy. If anything, I'm looking at it and thinking, I hate that jumper. So I know I'm working on dresses at the minute, but I'm just gonna go ahead and donate this jumper. Um, I just don't like it. I, I've worn it a ton. 
and it's just not giving me good vibes so I'm just gonna put that over there. This little number I got for a video when I was testing clothing from Shein and I ended up really liking it so I think I am actually gonna keep this because it is pretty nice. This dress has seen a lot of club nights and we'll hopefully see a few more. Nick got me this when we filmed a video together and he picked my outfits and I kept it because one, it fits very, very nicely. Two, a lot of you really, really liked it and I thought, I really like it too. But then I've never, ever, ever worn it and occasions have come up that it would be perfect for and I've never chosen to wear it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and donate this, which makes me quite sad because again, sentimental value, but we're gonna say goodbye to that. I've had it for a while. I've never found the perfect occasion. I think I'm gonna get rid of this dress, but I will say it looks so good on. It's really, really flattering, but I've just, I've never found the occasion. So I may never find the occasion. Simple black play suit. No way I'm getting rid of that, no way. I'm gonna say goodbye to this little dress. This dress has been my friend for years, but I think it's just had its time. So I'm gonna say goodbye. And that, wow, all that hurts. All that really hurts. I just know I'm not gonna wear it again, but all that really hurts. This is one of my absolute all time favorite play suits. Um, it's from ASOS. It is a play suit. It has little shorts under there, but it's got a long little skirt to it. I wore this to the last Christmas premiere with my mum. I have also worn it on other occasions. It's one of my favorite play suits of all time. So we'll be keeping. Yes, we'll be keeping. Very cute. That's from I saw it first. I got that on my first ever brand trip and just not, not, not letting go of that one. Will be keeping, won't be keeping. I'm not gonna wear it again, am I? Oh, we'll donate, we'll donate it, we'll donate it. We're gonna get rid of it. One of my favorite play suits of all time, not getting rid of that. This little play suit is so cute. I wore this to, uh, when I was in the Philippines with Nick on our holiday, um, and I do love it, but I remember looking back at the photos and just feeling like it wasn't really flattering me. Um, and because of that, now I have this negative association with it and I don't think I'd wear it again. So I think I'm gonna put this in my donate pile. I may come back to it, but I think for now we're gonna donate. Another little play suit. I haven't had the chance to wear this one properly yet. I think I have worn it once, but only once. So I definitely think I can get a few more wears out of that one. This is a dress that is a little bit too tight on me that I just didn't want to let go of. I'm gonna donate it, it's just too small, I just keep holding on to it because it's so cute and I keep kidding myself that I'm gonna fit into it. I'm too big for it, it's donating. Little dress from Pretty Little Thing. Um, this was when I filmed a video again with Nick and um, he rated my outfits and he really, really liked this. I was on the fence about it, but he really liked it and you guys seem to really like it, so I figured I would wear it on a summer holiday at some point. This is just the most soft, simple, easy throw on t-shirt dress going um, and it's in blue so I'm gonna keep that because that could just come in handy in all number of situations. Another one of my absolute favorite play suits, this one I wear practically every holiday um, when it's just got to the point where I couldn't care less and I want something to throw on, my hair's in a messy bun, I don't have makeup on, I smell of sun cream, like this is my go-to, I just, it's so comfortable. It's like you're not wearing anything, but you are. I've worn this on many planes and many beaches and it's just, I love this play suit. There's no way I'm getting rid of that. Little simple blue dress, I'll be keeping. I appear to have this twice, one without a tag and one with a tag. I don't know what's happened here. I don't know whether they sent it to me twice or whether I ordered this one, loved it and ordered it again, or whether I ordered this and months later found it again and didn't know I already had it. I honestly don't know. I know that I've worn this one. I don't know what this one's doing in my wardrobe, but I'm not gonna throw it away because I do like them and I'm sure I'll get lots of wear out of them, but I don't know why I've got it twice. Little jumpsuit from Next. I love this a whole freaking ton. I will be wearing this next summer. There's no way I'm saying goodbye to it. I'm pretty sure I got this in like October time and it was in the sale because it's obviously a summer dress. So I haven't had a chance to wear it, but it's very, very cute. Okay, let's try and make some quick decisions here. Yes. 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 No. Yes. No. 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 We're down to, I think, my last play suit. 
and this one I don't know if I'm ever gonna wear again but yet again it just holds sentimental value I just I used to wear this quite a lot and I just really really like it so I'm just gonna keep it I know it's so bad there's no reason for me to keep it but I just really like it I found another play suit I haven't had a chance to wear it but it's adorable so yes pile so far my donation pile looks like this Way through. Um, on the sofa behind me is what I'm putting to one side that could potentially be my capsule wardrobe. Over here I have items for the charity. Um, these are items to try on that I think will end up going to charity but I want to try them on first just to double check. This is all sportswear. This huge pile here and this little pile here are my sort of most definitely going into storage. These jumpers in these two piles, look, my little merch jumper. These jumpers are ones that I wear a lot, so I think I might keep out anyway, even if they don't fit in my capsule wardrobe. And then this is an entire pile of filming tops that I like to wear when I film videos, like coloured tees. This is my massive pile of empty coat hangers, which is pretty satisfying. And then this is the rest of the pile of clothing that I have to go through. Also, what I will say is what's not in that pile is my pajamas, my underwear, and dresses and play suits and jumpsuits, which I sorted out yesterday, none of which I think are gonna be in my capsule wardrobe. They're all just uh, going away, which makes me so sad. Maybe I'll keep one or two play suits. my Gymshark order arrived and I had to run downstairs and get it. Um, the main thing I'm excited about is this pair of shorts, so I'm gonna try them on now. I pray they fit because I ordered some in medium and they were too big. Even though everything else fits me in medium, these shorts were too big, so I've ordered them in a small. I don't feel like it's small, but please hope they fit because they're so cute. Meanwhile, I have just uploaded a video on my vlog channel that's going live in seven minutes. So I'm gonna pause this and make sure that I'm there to reply to comments and talk to you guys. Um, this is all I have left, which I'm so happy about. There's so little to go. I feel really, really great. And my Gymshark order arrived. So are we ready for these shorts? Please fit me. They fit. I do obviously have my uh, shorts underneath, but yay, I'm so freaking happy. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy! Um, I know that I'm gonna hate watching this footage back because if you couldn't tell, I'm really, really ill at the moment. I'm just trying to power through. Um, I really thought I started early on the packing situation, but somehow we're still running behind and there's still so much to do and so little time and I have filming to do and editing to do and I'm just so stressed at the minute. So I don't really have time to be like sitting in bed. Um, so instead, hello, I'm here. We're gonna be trying to take down my makeup table today. It will of course be a time lapse, but this is the embarrassment of where I get ready in the mornings. It is so messy. I try to clean it every once in a while, but it's just, it's a bad, bad time. And I'm pretty sure during this, you're gonna see a lot of either balls of my hair or dust because I'm just a terrible person. <laughs> Um, but as you can see, it's kind of messy, and just because I know I'm probably going to get questions, the vanity table and the vanity lights um, and this stool are all from Ikea, and then I think the mirror is from the range, but I'm not 100% sure. Also in this drawer, which is full of more junk, there's like a handful of things that I always use, and the rest of it I never use like ever. So I'm actually kind of excited to go through it, get rid of a ton of stuff. Um, the stuff that I'm getting rid of, I will either give to someone that I know would like it or I'm gonna donate it if it's in like a worthy state or I will have to of course recycle it if not and it is recyclable. So that's what's gonna happen there. And then hopefully if I manage to get through like all of the mess and properly clean it out, I will try and like actually take this table down as well. So then this whole area will be done and I will feel like I've accomplished something today at least. 